Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I think that I am just going to start, I really want to start vlogging more because I feel like, I don't know, I love watching vlogs and it just helps me personally feel less alone and a lot of you guys have said that it helps you guys feel less alone because um, I think that's why I love watching vlogs so much. I get to sit there and feel like I'm hanging out with a friend um, and when I have someone to talk to, I think it goes both ways. So, here we are. Um, you probably, by the time you've seen this, you've probably seen the Spooky Lookbook and probably the Portland vlog. I mean, I don't know what are all, but I'll probably put the Portland vlog up first before this one. Um, and I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys on life and the trip and everything because I didn't really close out that vlog. And it's going to be long enough, so I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, especially because I don't want to, like, ramble and bring it down in any way just by, like, my thoughts of, like, my feelings. Because we had such a wonderful trip. Um, you know, but I just wanted to talk to you guys and fill you in. I also, I know you guys have been asking it for a long time, want to bring back food videos because I just, you know, I need to get out of this rut. I've been trying, and then I fail, and it's, like, up and down, and I don't know. So these are just a couple things that I want to personally do. I'm going to turn off the car just in case it's until, like, if it gets too warm or anything. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's a couple things that I can do to help my mental health and also can't really hurt my channel um, hanging out with you guys and spending more time with you guys in a different way uh, because I know not everyone wants to buy clothing every day. And I've been blessed that I've had enough clothing opportunities in a row. Um, I'm honestly a little overwhelmed with it. And it stinks because, like, right now is my favorite season. I love fall. I love fall fashion. And I'm still really excited for it. And I have so many hauls coming. Don't you worry. Uh, but I feel like, I don't know, it's just another way for us to connect. Uh, I haven't been drinking a lot of coffee. I'm just going to ramble. You guys know what's up before I go. Um, I'm sitting outside of Old Navy. I'm going to go film it in the fitting room, which again, you'll probably see before you see this vlog because I will have just put up a vlog. So I'll probably put this up like next week. Um, but yeah, I thought, why not? I'm leaving the house. I felt like getting ready. So I might as well hang out with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go to Old Navy. I don't know this. I like the other one a little bit more, but I really wanted to run to Home Goods, So I came to this one, uh, because I'm regretting not purchasing a couple bowls that I really liked. So I went and got a tiny coffee and they gave me a venti. I would never, so I just need to like not drink all of it because my tummy, um, as you guys know, still working on it. Um, I just got an apple crisp oat milk macchiato and they were like, you're getting a venti today. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Very sweet of you. Um, but we'll see. I'm just going to drink it slowly. Uh, I just miss coffee. <laughs> I drank coffee when I was in Portland. But I drank, like, the Pete's Cold Brew. And I feel like that's so mild that, you know, it's never hurt my tummy. It didn't hurt my tummy when I was in Sacramento. So, bless them. But, like, Starbucks Cold Brew? I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Um, their espresso, big fan. Their Cold Brew. Although I did get a really, really, really bitter one last, last time. So that could have been part of it. Anyway. I mean, I know there's like a million things. I guess I'm just trying to think about what to talk about next. So kind of goes hand in hand. I do finally have a therapy appointment. It's on Halloween. Hopefully that's a good omen. Hopefully that's something good. Um, I think I'm seeing a man, which always worries me. Um, but if it doesn't go well, I will request somebody else. And you never know. Like I just got lucky that the, because the first time I tried to get a therapist, it did not go well. And then I gave up and then I went back again and ended up with someone I really liked but she moved away so now it's just like starting over again and I have switched doctor's offices to hopefully have you know a better doctor and so far I seem to like him um but yeah so we'll see uh it'll be yeah and I have to kind of drive a decent way it's like a f almost a 40 minute drive so we'll see which things because well, the last time I had therapy it was like a seven minute drive um but I know it's something that helped me and can continue to help me. I honestly feel like anyone that does the job that I do should be in some form of therapy <laughs> because we handle a lot of things that like the average person doesn't go through. Um, a lot more bullying than the average person doesn't, you know, that goes through. And like, yeah, you can say, and a lot of people will eventually get to a place where it doesn't bother them. But um, I am very much an emotional person, as we know. I am very much a <laughs> depressed person. Um, and of course, that's something I'm working on with my doctor and will hopefully uh, remedy a little bit. My life has gone up and down. There's just been a lot in the last like five to seven years, you know, and a lot of things just change you. And 
I feel like I'm slowly coming to terms with some things in my life that I wasn't able to fully just let go. I don't know. I have so many thoughts. Um, but anyway, hand in hand with that, with mental health, I honestly uh, was editing the lookbook. And you will have, I will have edited it and put it up. And I might cut out outfits. I don't know. Just because... Uh, for example, like the Killstar dress was tight. There was a non-stretchy part in the middle, and I've never had that happen with the Killstar dress. And I just, it stinks because like it's the only outfit I did like in front of the main pumpkin at Halloween Town, and I just, I don't know, I'm very torn because I just, <sighs> it's hard having this job and not feeling great about yourself. And I don't think it's really necessarily like any outside you know I mean that never helps when you're feeling down about yourself and the thing is is self-love and like body acceptance like I always focus on acceptance because I I mean there will be days where I'm able to not even think about it but there's never really a day where I'm like I love my belly like I wish I was that person I wish I could get there um but the truth is is I think for me personally it's because I know that my body is in more pain than it would be if I wasn't this weight and you know as you guys know and if you've been around a while you know that I've tried many times to lose weight um and you know, it's just, it's a struggle when, like, you try something to make your life better and your body just, like, doesn't want to help you out. And if I figure it out, I figure it out. And I know I'll never be, you know, a thin person. Uh, I just don't think that my body would ever allow that. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. So with that, I do, and you guys know I'm vegan. I've been vegan for a really long time. So, uh, I would like to get more adventurous with my meals and get back into eating a lot more whole foods and, um, yeah, just trying to find new ways to get protein and stuff like that. Cause I've been in this weird place where like a lot of fake meat freaks me out. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's like the been vegan for almost four years and my body's like, mm, I, you don't want that even though it's fake. Um, a lot of fake chicken is still good, but even some. Girl, like we had some chicken wings when we were in Portland and we were like, mm-mm, too real for me, too real for me. Um, so I don't know, so I just need to get a little bit more adventurous with other alternatives like tofu and tempeh and stuff. And like, I love tofu, so um, I'm just talking in circles, you guys know it. How long have I been chatting? Nine minutes. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> my brain, sorry. It's weird. It's like I am finding these news, new ways, news ways, <laughs> news ways, um, these new ways to try and cope with uh, my depression and my anxiety and like my feelings. But also, at least I'm talking about it and not crying. I just want to be like, you know, it just stinks. I think that I just feel extra bad about it because I've never invested so much in a spooky lookbook and I'm not proud of it because. I think I'm only not proud of it because I don't like how I look and the main a few main things that I really wanted to incorporate into the lookbook didn't arrive in time so like the like most stunning dress that I was really excited about it just came so like it didn't make it into the lookbook and I might do a part two if I feel up to it because of course Alina and I will still shoot those things for Instagram I'm just I don't know I always feel like in a weird place because I love creating content for Instagram but I also don't love Instagram and I don't want to, I don't know, I feel like I've been focusing a lot of energy over there. So I'm just trying to evaluate things and see how I can, I don't know, give you guys a little bit more of the content I want to give you. Uh, I feel like I've been accepting a lot of like smaller brands and all that's fun and I'm not going to stop doing that. I want to make sure I'm getting places like Old Navy and part of the reason I haven't gotten out to Old Navy is because I really haven't felt well lately. Um, update on like that and the stomach issues. Uh, I started a probiotic that somebody recommended and it has been helping some and honestly the biggest thing that we probably think it is is both like a bacterial imbalance from being on so many antibiotics and it's also causing like major acid reflux, but also stress is heavily affecting it. And it's like the start of an ulcer that just like keeps coming and going. And now like it went from just like a sharp pain every once in a while to like kind of feeling like an ulcer to like insane acid reflux, like out of nowhere. Um, so that's something we're dealing with. 
it, what was nice is like I was able to be distracted. I, there's certain things I did that I'm wondering. I was having like these ginger shots every day and I know that's good for your tummy. So I'm almost tempted to get some and try that. I think that also part of it is when I'm home, I lay in bed all the time because I just, you know, when you have chronic illness, it's the most comfortable place to be. And I've just always worked from bed, but I think I need to, especially after eating, make sure I'm like sitting up. I don't know. There's so many things that it could have been, but I just felt a lot better when I was in Portland. But a lot of that could also be just the distraction of not thinking about like the fire at the back of your throat. Um, if you guys have any like acid reflux, cause that's like, I think that's like a side effect of whatever's going on. Um, and I'm sure that the things that are going on are probably not, I'm like, I hope not super serious. Um, and I'm still waiting to like <laughs> see a doctor. I've been denied twice now. Um, and there are two more places. Uh, they're hopeful for the third place that they just sent it to, but then the one more option after that in town, uh, they said there are 3,000 referrals for them to go through. So the likelihood of me finding a doctor that can see me for my stomach issues in town is very small. So I may have to travel if I want to. And the thing is, is like, I think that I might be able to figure it out eventually or figure it out with my doctor, but he really wants me to see like a professional, which makes sense. Um, and it is affecting my life on an everyday basis. And I know that that is affecting everything else. So, you know, it's just hard. It's hard. I know a lot of you guys are spoonies. A lot of you guys have chronic health issues. And I know you guys know, like, when you start taking, like, antacids or you start taking, like, antibiotics, for example, it just affects, like, everything else. It affects all of your other medications because, like, I have an arthritis medication, my birth control for my PMDD, and if I'm taking too many antacids, like... It makes it so it doesn't absorb all the way. Or if I'm taking antibiotics, it offsets my birth control, which makes me flare in PMDD. It makes everything else worse. It's like it's one thing, another, I don't know. But I have an appointment with my arthritis doctor as well. I'm going to talk to him a little bit about my knee and stuff like that. And maybe he can help um, in some way or another on the stomach issue. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. My face feels really swollen. It's definitely time for my um, TMJ Botox, but I don't know how I'm going to afford that. So get used to my swollen face right now until I can figure that out. Um, I definitely need to sell my soul on <laughs> Poshmark. Um, but now that I've shot a lot of the Halloween outfits that I got, um, I can pop some of those up on Poshmark. And I know a lot of you guys are Halloweenies too. So you'll be excited about that. I love that it's fall, but I don't love that it's getting darker earlier. It's poopy. Do you have a Trader Joe's near you? They're accidentally vegan, so they're just like little peanut butter rice crispy bites, which I'm glad I left them in the car. I left them in the car because being vegan and trying to find like a snack on the go, and I am queen of like, like I ate breakfast and then I took an accidental nap, <laughs> and then I just like forget to eat, and then I like leave, and so I threw these in the car, and especially because I'm putting coffee in my tummy, it's probably better to put something in there. Um, also, where did I just put that garbage? Did I drop it? Oh. I don't know where I went. Do I still have the other one on me? I do. I do. Okay, I just ate a s'mores one of these. If you are plant-based, I feel like this is an ad. This is not. I bought this at Trader Joe's. And then the other one I just ate, I bought at Whole Foods when I was in Portland. Um, but I really like these. They are 15 grams of protein, which is a lot for a bar. And, like, they do taste a little protein E. Don't get me wrong. But if you're someone that struggles to get a lot of protein... Or you just want something that's going to, like, satisfy you. I don't know. They're good. And even if you're not vegan, you can obviously try them. They're just plant-based protein instead of whey-based protein. So, I don't know. Um, so far, this one is my favorite. Trader Joe's just has the cookie butter and the caramel. And the cookie butter so far. And the s'mores is really good. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Just a little random. Little snacky snackies for you. Uh, I feel half asleep. I definitely need to drink this coffee. I've just been, like, since I got home, just, like, so exhausted and resting. But I do have to say that, like, going on my walks and stuff like that that I've been doing when I could do. I was going to do that today, but it was, like, I could either go film or I could go on a walk. And I took too long to do both. Plus, energy-wise, I only really, normal days, have the energy to do one or the other. And I decided I wanted to film. I wanted to chat with you guys. I wanted to, you know, chat. So, here we are. Yeah, I think that helped a lot with my energy on the trip, which was great. Sorry that I'm literally talking in circles. What's new? Um, I don't feel like I have anything else to say. I think I've covered all things. So I am going to go to Old Navy. I'm going to do a little try-on. And um, I don't know. 
And I don't know why I felt the need to tell you about... I just like to communicate all my feelings. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the lookbook. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's important to talk about things because there's so many people that are just like, I can't do that. I can't do what you do. I can't like be in that mental state. And the thing is, is like, I'm not in that state every day. I am very unhappy with my body at the moment. And the thing is, is, but it's not even about that. It's still about knowing. I wish that I would have just changed my dress in that moment, but I liked the dress and I was so, I had just like, felt like I was going to like have an anxiety attack because it was just like, I don't know. I felt like overwhelmed because I had had Alina come with me. I was investing money in like the hotel and investing money in this trip and it was just like so many things at once and like all of a sudden it was the moment to go do it and I just was so overwhelmed and it went from like there being no people in Halloween town to like a whole bunch of people being in Halloween town. And like it ended up working totally fine, working perfectly. We got all the shots we wanted um, but also just being like so stressed and overwhelmed. I know that I could have done better than I did but it is what it is and hopefully you guys still enjoy it and I know that I'm my own worst critic and most of you guys aren't going to look at me, but like, ooh, girl's looking chunky. But, I don't know. <laughs> My legs are also swollen, you know, the same thing. Oh, one more thing. So, like I was saying, I was going to talk to my arthritis doctor about my knee because I just found out from my physical therapist, and, like, I talked to them more about it. I've been having two different ones, um, and uh, so I'm basically going to have to struggle with my knee for the rest of my life with swelling and stuff, and I don't know. I need to talk to them more, but that's why I'm going to talk to my arthritis doctor about it because if there's anything I can do to make that better, I want that because I want to go on more walks for my mental health. I want to have a life. I want to be active. Um, and that's been the biggest part of me, like moving my body again, both mental health and wanting like, you know, a better life. Like my boyfriend loves the outdoors. I love traveling. And for a while there, like over the pandemic and then like having COVID and hurting my ankle and then having COVID and hurting my knee <laughs> and all the stress with the queen and stuff. And like, that's when I like definitely just like stopped doing much and gained that little bit of weight and just, you know, things went downhill and I just felt I felt my weight, you know, and I feel my weight, um, but it's definitely been improving, and, like, for a while there, I, and plus just, like, I had so many health flares from all the stress and stuff like that. It was just a lot. It was a lot, and I'm sure I've talked to you about this many times before, but basically that's what, like, made me want to start moving more um, in any way that I could because I want to, like, we want to go to Disneyland next fall um, for Halloween because it's something I've always wanted to do, and just, like, how this year we went to... Um, Portland because we've always talked about going to Halloween Town. I'm, I definitely have to go back and take DJ because he loves Halloween Town. It's one of his favorite Halloween movies. Um, isn't it wonderful that my boyfriend's a Halloweeny? Uh, I love that. Look at these little tweaks back here. You guys, this hair is ridiculous. Whew, so many thoughts. I'm really kind of excited to go dark again. Like, I love the orange, don't get me wrong, but it's just so low maintenance. It doesn't fade. This orange fade. I literally, I'm upset because I colored my hair and then washed my hair once between coloring it and filming a spooky lookbook and it doesn't match perfectly and I hate that. Yeah. Hi. Life story. What's up? So, I'm going to stop rambling. I think I covered everything. Um, I don't know what else will be in this vlog because I will probably just like put little pieces together. Um, maybe this will just be a chatty vlog, but I will pop in Home Goods after this. And if I feel up to it, I might go to Michael's. I originally was thinking of filming two in the fitting room today, but I think I'm not going to push it unless I feel like absolutely great after this. But I will just come back out here because I want to get you guys another JCPenney one. It's been a minute. And JCPenney in fall always has the cutest flannels and I really like how they fit. So I will definitely come back to JCPenney. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of this Old Navy try on. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Um, I know this is a lot of the same stuff, but I just, you know, I know you guys are invested and I know you guys care and I know you guys know that I've been like trying to get into therapy, trying to get a doctor's appointment and um, a lot of you are so invested about like my knee and the queen and so queen is doing good. She just is having a moment. What has been happening? I'll update you really quick and then I promise I'll stop talking because I everyone always asks about the queen which I love because she's the love of my life and I love that you love her. Um, so we have, you know, if you don't want to hear about butts, 
just go ahead and forward, go forward, go forward. But um, as you guys know, it's been like an anal gland problem because she's a big baby. She was 25 pounds. Um, I think we got her down to around 24. Uh, she's trying, we're trying to get her to lose weight because she can't clean herself. But even when she was a baby, she didn't clean herself. So I've been cleaning her for like five years because it's just like how it's been. But I don't know, somehow, like after we switched from her diet food, so she wasn't losing weight on her diet food, and then her diet food was making her constipated, and I was just like, so whatever, and I just gave her regular cat food, which was a mistake, um, because she didn't really have a vet at that moment, and it just was a lot was going on, and she gained weight really fast, and so she went from being like an 18, 19 pound baby to a 25 pound baby, and that caused more issues, where then she started having potty problems. It was this whole thing, couldn't figure out what it was, and finally my doctor has just been very regularly expressing her anal glands, and the time for last we went, um, there was a big improvement. She just had like one full and like a little bit in the other one, and the last time we went, one was empty and just had a little bit. So like I know she's okay, and part of the problem is, is she's getting so used to her relaxing medicine. That when I was out of town for two days, she like barely pooped. So then she pooped. She pooped. I came home to poop on my bed because she pooped in the litter box and then just like let it chill on her butt and sat on my bed. Um, so it's been a thing. So now she's just like hiding from me. So I gave her some more of her zoot medicine and was like, we both need a break. Because she's looking stressed. I'm looking stressed. I know she's fine. She's just being a dramatic baby. And I'm sure her butt doesn't feel 100%. But she was absolutely fine before I left. So I'm just hoping she's got a little bit of a sore booty. We're going to remedy it. She's got an appointment next Friday. If I have to move it up, I will. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. We're making progress. Um, it's hard to get a cat to lose weight because she... I just need to get out of the house more, I think. I need to just like try and get out of the house almost every day. Um... Cause I'm bad at that, but I think it'll help me. It'll help her um, because then she won't be. I won't be. She won't be yelling at me all day while I'm home. You know, to feed her. And then sometimes you just give in because they're bossy. But anyway, so improving. All things are improving one way or another, except for my self-esteem. <laughs> but I'm doing things to try and help that. So it'll be what it'll be. And I think that's it. Okay, longest vlog intro ever. 25 minutes. Jesus, this will probably just be its own vlog of me checking in and going to Home Goods. Um, but I'm going to hurry up so that I can, like, have some, what are words? What are words? Have some sunlight after this. Okay, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Thank you for being here. I'm sure some of you guys think I'm absolutely annoying. I just had some girl on Instagram that's, like, been following me for a while. All of a sudden, I have nowhere to be like, what the fuck is that? Oh, I cursed. Excuse me. She was like, WTF is with that blonde piece. And, like, all you do is look over, like, your right shoulder, find a new pose. And, like, out of nowhere. And, like, she's left nice comments before. Like, I recognized her icon. And she's following me. And I was like, why are you even following me? So I ended up blocking her because I was like, I'm not going to be... Your punching bag for when you're having a bad day and you just want to yell at someone. Don't yell at people on the internet when you're having a bad day. Sit with your feelings and figure it out. Talk to the person you're upset with. And if it's yourself you're upset with, sit in your feelings. Don't go on the internet and be mean to people for no reason. Anyway, so some of you might find me absolutely annoying and think I'm a big whiner. And I'm an emotional mess, but I'm also too old to, I don't know, I'm trying to do my best. I'm making an effort. People will always, there's always going to be someone that has a problem with you. Look at my little grande straw. Man, I love wearing eyelashes and weave. See, I just had to, like, make myself cute again. Feel feel a little cuter. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna shh. I love you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, loves. I just finished out Old Navy. It went really, really well, so I'm excited about that. Uh, the sun is starting to creep down. It's only 6, uh, but I'm sure it'll be down by 7. I'm going to pop over to Home Goods. I know we go to Home Goods in every single vlog ever. It's my favorite place, and if I feel up to it, I might go somewhere else, but I do need to run by the store on the way home because uh, I need some stuff for the beans. Uh, the big beans, my tiny cats. I just heard from DJ. He is feeling good, so he might come over after work for a little bit, which is great because I haven't seen him <clears throat> in over a week. Uh, that's too long. That's too long. But he was really sick, and you guys know me. If I get sick, I get super sick. Um, so he just stayed at his place, and obviously stayed at mine, so we didn't get our date day. But very sweet of him to want to try and come over the first day that he feels decent. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to Home Goods. I'll let you know if I get anything. Um, and then 
I'm probably not buying anything exciting at the store, but if I do, I will share it. But yeah, super stoked on the Old Navy try-on. I'm sure it's probably already up, so definitely check it out if you are into Old Navy or you just love fall fashion because, girl, so many cute things. Blew my mind. I, I literally, the only thing I didn't love love was one shirt in the jeans, but I knew I wouldn't, and I just tried them on in a bigger size to see how it would work. Um, but I am just... <sighs> My calves are too big for their skinny jeans. Like, they're never going to work. And they're never high-waisted enough. But everything else, 10 out of 10. All right. Let's go to Home Goods. Home Goods. I really need to go to Michael's again. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's go shopping. Hey, babe. So we're going to Home Goods again. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? So I did a little peek really quick first. And then I grabbed a hand basket because I saw a couple things. I was like, girl, I got to get these. I honestly will probably go to Home Goods another time or two uh, because I did find some new things that I hadn't seen the last time I was there. I know we've gone to Home Goods a thousand times and we didn't have as much variety in our Halloween hunting this year, but um, that's okay. <laughs> you know, health happens uh, and trips happen, but there's definitely still some stuff, especially if you're looking for dishes. They also now have a bunch more fall stuff. They got the Halloween before they even got the fall. So if you were a fall bean, they've got the fall. And I don't know if you saw that, but there's a Santa hat on the other side. I did get a quick peek of the Christmas stuff for my Christmas beans. Look at this mug. Wow, this is cute. I definitely need to get another mug rack. I keep putting it off. Um, I don't even really use mugs that much because I'm an iced coffee gal, but. I love me collecting, I love me some mugs. I don't know. So ugh, definitely some Christmas stuff. But honestly, I've been celebrating Halloween for a few months now. So I'm like, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Even though I would love to drag Halloween out as long as I can. I know it's only October 1st and everyone's probably feeling like, um, Halloween just started. It's like just October. But the thing is, is I live for Halloween hunting and stuff like that. And with the job that I do, if I want to give you spooky looks, I have to kind of get them to you early in case you want to check them out before it actually gets to this point. You know what I'm saying? So you get things in time for Halloween. But they had a ton of pillows. I thought this one was really cute. But anyway, I got a couple things. Let's do a haul in the car. All right. So they did have new things. They did. It's like a sprinkle of new things that I have not seen or has just been, you know, hiding in the back. Who knows? I don't know their business, but I'm going to do a quick haul, even though things are all nicely wrapped. Um, I did get some ginger candy, which I'm going to try together right now because ginger is supposed to help your tummy. I am not a big ginger fan, but I was doing like immunity shots with Alina every day. So maybe I could just like eat it quickly. I don't know, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of ginger. Or are they chew oh, they're chewy, sweet. So it's like mango and ginger. I just sanitized. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I can't read without my glasses. Hold on. I mean, the first ingredient is sugar and then ginger, which is probably not the highest amount of ginger, but that's pretty good. Super chewy, though. I just remember I used to work with someone that, oh, there's the ginger. There's that ginger. That love ginger candy for tummy aches. And I know it helps a lot, so I don't know. Sorry for the chewy noises. Very chewy, but it tastes way better than I expected. So I got some of those. Um, and I have been wanting to try the salted caramel flavor of these for so long. For so long. And I've never seen them. So I saw them. They had three bags. I bought them all. So my mom and I can eat them all. Um, because I'm sure they're amazing. I really like the birthday cake ones are really good. This, I, honestly, I've never tried one of these I don't like. But I really like the cinnamon. They had that as well. But I've got some little bags my mama got me from Costco I need to eat through before I go buy more. Even though you guys know how Home Goods is. If you don't buy it, you're not going to get it. But I've never seen these ever in store. So I'm very excited to try those. I'm just going to sneak peek you while she taped them. How lovely. Um, sorry for the noise. But I got a snake bowl. This is a bigger size bowl. It's like a mid-sized bowl. Like this is what I would normally put a salad in. Yeah, super cute. This was $6.99. They only had one. So I got one. Got crinkly. All of my dishes are basically random Halloween dishes for the most part, or ones I got when I had just moved out. Oh my gosh, I know when I'm editing this, all this crinkling is gonna drive me nuts. But I've got to show you this guy. 
I'm gonna definitely probably put this on a shelf in my filming room just to put accessories in or something. Look how cute it is. I am a sucker for anything Ouija board and I just had to get this. This was $12.99. I had wanted these like mixing bowls and given this size wasn't as big as I wanted and she said that she did. I'm sorry, but that's what she said jokes. Let me know if you're cool with that's what she, she said jokes because I just like can't control them sometimes so I normally cut them out. Um, but if you're cool with it, I'll leave them in. <laughs> I got this. It's a 12 pack, which just means it's six bowls and six lids, which is probably going to work way better for what I wanted anyway. Um, so $12.99 for these because I really just wanted bigger bowls for salad. I had seen some big bowls when I was here last time. They were Halloween and I was like, oh, they're so cute. What am I going to use that big of a bowl? And then I got home and I was making a salad and I was like, girl, you could easily put your salad in there and then it's going to be way easier to mix it because half the time I'll like put all my stuff in there and then I wish I would have added more lettuce, but like it takes so much volume. So I'm like, I need a big old bowl. And then with these, with the lids, you can do the shaky shaky so you get your dressing all over. I've been making my own salad dressings. I've been making, trying to perfect my vegan Caesar. So I'm definitely going to share that with you guys soon. I have some leftover Caesar dressing from my favorite vegan restaurant. So I'm going to eat that tonight. But the next time I make it, I'll definitely film it for you guys because it's really good. And like, I mean, making salad dressings is so easy. And I don't know why I never thought that as someone who loves salads. I'm on a salad kick. So. So I bought these bowls. They had all different colors. I got like the dark gray. I almost got the baby blue, but I was like, if there was pink, I would have got pink. But gray it is. So that's what I got. I got a lot of stuff for 50 bucks. Honestly, I love home goods. I love home goods. Um, it's so warm in there so warm in there even like i don't know i walked in and it was like at night i think they turn off their ac at night or something because during the day i don't have that problem anytime i go after like 6 p.m sweating sweating wasn't near as bad this time but definitely was a little bit a little toasty even like with this so i guess it wasn't too bad if i you know whatever okay i don't know if this will be the end of the vlog it might be just because i rambled for so freaking long but if not i'll either see you soon or i love you and i hope you're well and leave a snake emoji made it to the end but yeah i think that's it i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon and let me know if you're excited for more random vlogs where i just ramble about stuff and we go do random stuff like i'll probably just start taking you to the grocery store and go into target and picking up cat litter you know what i'm saying um because i need a bestie i have besties but tbh my besties have other besties because we're adults and all of my bestie besties have left me because I am an emotional wreck. At least that's what I tell myself. That's what I know. PMD. And also, people also stink. And it is what it is. And I love you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling. Bye. <laughs> hey loves, what's up? I feel very quiet today. I'm trying to like, I don't know. It's 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 a day. Um trying to keep my promise of vlogging more, and I'm just gonna like I said, just kind of bring you along on random days, whether I'm just going to the grocery store or today I'm going to go on a walk and I really didn't want to, but, um, I don't know. I always, we chatting, by the way, before I even get into it, everyone has been telling me how freaking amazing this is. I don't know how great it's going to be on my tummy, but I'm giving it a go because anything caramel apple and anything witchy vibes I have to try. Um, I've seen <laughs> so many people talk about this on Instagram. I asked Alina about it. She said it's so good. Um, it's got a lot of caffeine. And Alina was like, just take this. She's like, make sure that you're going to go like you're doing something. Because <laughs> it's going to hype you up. Um, I've probably drank a third of it. I am not. I don't know. I don't drink stuff like this very often. Of course, my battery's dying because I didn't grab another one. Good Lord. That's how it goes, right? <sighs> that's how it goes. I was like, no, it should be fine. I barely used it. No. So anyway, I'm going on a walk today for my mental health. And I'm drinking this. Uh, it's got the, a little bit of a, like, sugar-free taste um to it so it's not my favorite uh i might go to ross too after this if i'm not too sweaty it's warmer than i thought it was it's very overcast but it's like 77 78 79 degrees something like that so we'll see um but i can't believe i forgot to grab a battery well i didn't even forget i was just like it'll be fine i switched to my phone 
which is going to be pink because I have to hold it up, but that's fine. And not as flattering. That camera is just nice to my face. <laughs> so this will be what it'll be. There's still so much stuff in the back of my car. Holy crap. Um, and sorry about the quality, but I just wanted to chat with you guys really quick, uh, for usual, just because you guys know mental health stuff has been hard, so I am just trying to force myself to be a little better. I still have an appointment in October, um, towards the end with my doctor. I have an appointment in October with my arthritis doctor, with my regular doctor for mental health stuff, um, and then I also have a therapy appointment on Halloween, which I've told you guys. So I'm very excited to get back into that. Um, but what I can do right now is just get myself out of the house on days that I feel poopy. Um, the spooky lookbook went up today. It is Monday. You probably won't see this for another week or so. And then also just dealing with like body image issues. Uh, so the only thing I can do is try and focus on like energy. And like, as you guys know, I've been going on these walks and it's definitely been helping. Am I cutting off my head? A little bit. Um, so it's definitely been helping with my energy level like I got through that trip so well and didn't get exhausted till I came home I still needed like a full day of rest at least honestly like two days of rest afterwards but like I pushed through and had fun and did everything I wanted to do um the only thing was towards the end because I wasn't able to take any anti-inflammatories my joints hurt real bad towards the end of the day I am switching arms because my other arm I need to work out my arms girl um I don't know if I'm gonna get through all this that's very sweet. What stinks is this is definitely like the type of drink that I would love to just like sip on. My left arm is too wobbly. <laughs> Both are wobbly, but I would love to just sip on at the end of the night. I love, I love a kombucha at the end of the night. Um, it's great. By the way, slowly, I think <laughs> I'm figuring some stuff out with my tummy. Um, I have been taking like little immunity shots that have ginger in them. They've been helping. I got ginger candy. Um, someone on Instagram another content creator reached out to me and was like try these probiotics i'm trying them little things and i think it's helping i know a huge component of my tummy is stress and i think it's i truly think it's like the start of an ulcer is part of it i think i'm finally making some like headway like i've had a few days in the last like week um that i feel almost normal <laughs> and that's insane because i was having not a minute of a day where i felt normal so progress is great um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go on this little walk. I'll try and bring you with me a little bit, uh, cause it's really pretty. It stinks cause like it looks like the perfect fall day, but again, like I said, it's like 80 degrees, which, <laughs> so I'm just gonna pretend you guys are with me. Um, it's a very public place. Um, I always just like weirded myself out about going by myself, but there's so many people around and there's so many people going on walks. Like I feel like a lot of people in the area, that's where they go to just go on a walk or walk their dog. So many things. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to not forget a battery next time. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried moving for your mental health, like I know it's hard, especially if you're a spoonie, take it easy, start really slow. Um, I'm going to use the tracker app just because I like to know how far I've gone. And I usually go like a mile and a half, um, which really isn't that far when you stop and think about it. But I remember when I was younger, I was like, oh, I'm going a mile when I was like diet cultured out. <laughs> This I will not stop watering. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I hope you... Yes, okay, good. You can see me. And then if I'm not too gross and sweaty, I'll go to Ross. I might pop in Trader Joe's because I really want to make this uh, tofu chocolate mousse. That sounds so crazy. Um, I'm just trying to like experiment more. And that way it's like a high protein mousse. That's just something I'm trying to do for myself is like get more protein in. Because I just eat so many carbs. Because like I've said, I'm just... Oh, how cute. Oh, how cute. Did you just get married? I don't know if you can see them. They're like going far away. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you can't see them. Oh, it's so sad. They're so cute. They're at least on a date, but it looked like they were got, they got married. She looked like she was in a wedding dress, like a closer fitting wedding dress. And he was in like a mustard yellow suit. How cute. And they were just on a scooter through the park. Cute. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry if this is shaky because your girl needs to work on her arms. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where I was going before that because I got distracted because they were so cute. Um, but anyway, hopefully I don't get murdered. Murdered. That's what DJ says. Murdered. Um, I think it'll be okay. But yeah, I just want to have... I know it's silly just like be like, I want to do this. I want to do this. But like the number one thing that you guys request all the time is like 
vlogs, food videos, and I just, it's, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to get out more, so I'm just gonna vlog with you even though I have to do it like this, you know, as much as I can. Um, but let's go on this walk, and if I'm not too sweaty, we might go to Trader Joe's, we might go to Ross, I don't know. Um, we might just make chocolate mousse with what I have at home. I have almost everything, but I need more chocolate chips, because I thought I had a whole bag and I had, like, none. So, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. babes i have returned to the car i am slightly sweaty one gnat one gnat i opened my phone to get back on my story and there's one little gnat right there little turd why you want to be on my sweaty forehead i don't know um i did it just under one and a half miles i just took like the normal route that dj and i take but i only paused for like 15 seconds at the top of like the like in between like the biggest incline because there's like slow incline and there's like a hill and like I don't know so only one pause <coughs> and my social anxiety made me like keep going I know my allergies are gonna hate me because it is super windy but I'm glad that I did it um I kind of have to pee so I don't know I'm just gonna drive I honestly for me didn't get very sweaty at all which is great because I think the wind helped um plus just the more I do this the better and I think the last time I went on a walk it was like 84 so it was like five degrees less today so that's nice um but yeah I don't know maybe I'll see you in a minute maybe I'll see you another day I don't know but I'm gonna figure it out and um I do think I feel a little mentally better so I don't know not to be that guy but if you're one of those people like me where you've tried everything I've tried multiple medications throughout my life I've tried so many things and I don't know this is like the easiest quick fix if you're feeling a little down or a little bummed. So anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, babes. I did end up going to Ross's day. I had to just go check out the Halloween stuff, see what was left. You guys know I'm always into it. I always got to see what's going on. They really didn't have too, too much. They, I thought these guys were really cute. Um, like little, I don't know. They almost look like blow molds, but they're not. They were cute. I was hoping they would have more Joanna Parker stuff. But I feel like I just kind of missed that. I ended up spending, I don't know, I ended up putting more of my budget towards the trip that I went on instead of what I probably would have spent on spooky stuff. Plus, I've been collecting Halloween stuff for so long that I feel like I definitely got a little bit less this season than last season, um, which is good. I need to like slow, slow it down. I got too much stuff. Um, but I always like to check out what they have at Ross, especially because Ross is so affordable. Those cups were cute. I kind of wish I would have gotten those. I definitely need to get some taller cups, uh, but I want to get some clear ones because I want to use them for coffee. I've been using mason jars, but part of me wants to, I don't know. I don't know. I want options. This guy was really cute, especially for a find at Ross because, again, Ross is so affordable. Um, I love it. By the way, I know I need to plug in the mic and use a real mic for this, but I need to get an adapter, and you guys know my brain. I forget all the time, but I promise eventually we'll have better voiceovers. I have the mic. DJ got it for me. Um, Oh my gosh, for Christmas, and now it's going to be Christmas before we know it. Yikes, girl. Sorry I'm the worst. I don't know. Um, This candle. Adorable. I was like, I'm going to grab that, and I decided to go look at like the shelves and the baskets and stuff because I can always use more organization. I thought that little snaky guy was cute. I was like, okay, Shannon, just buy some more hangers. I do want to get more of the ones that I got off Amazon, but these packs of 30 were such a good deal that I was like, I can never have too many. And the ones I get on Amazon are both a pant hanger and a regular like felt hanger. Um, these boxes, how cute are those? I had no reason to get one, but I really wanted that checker one just because I thought it was cute. I did grab these bins, which you will see. Uh, they had some cool furniture too, by the way. I feel like the furniture is getting better and better. I did find some of this pancake mix, which I really like. It's accidentally vegan. Um, I checked out the mugs. They did kind of have stuff slightly scattered at Ross. I find that they still do that sometimes. Sometimes like the mugs will be in the mugs, but then some of the mugs that are Halloween will be in the Halloween. 
Um, I've just been, I don't know, getting random things that I always think of that I need, but I never get. Like the other day I got a garlic press, <laughs> which I don't know. Why not, you know? So I did grab this bin. I was going to get the fortune teller one as well, but I thought I would just stick with the one I liked the most. That was like my effort. I did put some stuff back. Um, these bins were such a good deal and they're basic black. Like you can't go wrong with these. I got the hangers. I grabbed the candle. Um, lots of cute stuff. And I thought before I left, I would take a little, a little meander through the shoes. They had some really cute tennis shoes. I definitely need to start looking for you know tennis shoes and stuff i've gotten a really cute pair that i ordered online of shoes but they were still so expensive so one of you guys told me that these are the best shoes let me know let me know your favorite brand of like walking shoes i thought there was that was cool if they had publetics i definitely need to get a white basic pair but i was just not in the mood to try on shoes plus i had gone on a walk i was feeling gross i was ready to go home but anyway i'll show you a haul not quick enough so i don't know how i just spent 65 dollars on grounded um but i got some plantain chips which i like plantain chips right now i don't know what's a vibe i've been thinking about making my own little protein bites and i saw these guys for only 2.99 so i was like you know what i haven't had one in a long time so if these are a vibe i'll make my own i got some pancake mix which is accidentally vegan i got got some hair ties i got this this bin I also got these hangers and these bins, which I'm sure I showed you. Oh, and this little candle, which, hold on, hopefully you can see me. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, come here, little guy. Hold on, I'll just flip him around. Now you can see. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so cute. He kind of smells like a man, but he's so cute. I had to bring him home. Also, a rug that I almost got, which I'm sure I showed you. Sorry, I just smacked the phone against the ceiling. Uh, but I decided I was going to wait and remeasure with my parents. Oh, I'm sweaty. It was so warm in there. I was going to get the black rug. But then I was like, is this big enough? And then they had a bigger one that was twice as much. But I don't know. I want to make sure I get the right size. It's going to like be good for like the next year or so until I find one that I love. Um, so I'm going to wait and come with my parents. Plus, they're heavy. And I just couldn't decide. Plus, money is really tight right now after that trip. <laughs> so, as I just spent all this money on stuff I really didn't need. I'm the worst. I am the worst. So, um, I don't remember what else I was going to say. So, that's when I got at Ross. I'm going to go home now. I love you. Ooh, you just, it made us close. It made us close. I forget it does that. It's like I turn it on and it's like, hello. Hi. Let me make sure I'm not zoomed in. Nope. Nope. No closer than that because you will see all my nose hairs. I've got a lot right now. I'm overdue for trimming them. I got a hairy nose, girl. Anyway. Posty. You're gonna give me a copyright. Copyright strike. Yes, your girl's crazy. Your girl's crazy. What's new? Time to go home to the beans. Well, go to the grocery store and then go home to the beans. Is there a way? I think I'm as low as I go. I just got too long of a torso, guys. Um, I was trying to see what are words. Anyway, I think that'll click my brain.